What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're gonna to be doing the full review on the Staccato P X Series. Now that's the Staccato P that has all the fixings, so it's gonna be pretty awesome. It comes with a lot of features that I'm excited about on a 2011, and it looks super sexy. So first off, I have to admit, I'm a sucker for staccato. You guys know I'm a big staccato guy. I have like five of these and they've never really let me down. All right, this is a bag here. You get all kinds of your swag from staccato, your wrenches, your extra uh, fiber optic rods and stuff like that. Which is actually a pretty cool carry case too. A lot of times you come in a big cardboard box, which is basically useless. Whereas this, you can take right to a match. I know, because I actually use these staccato bags for my Atlas to take it to a match. <laughs> Gun lock, which you're never gonna use, probably gonna throw away. Then we have the gun here and the three included magazines, which are a little dirty because obviously we use the gun. Now, the cool thing about the magwell is it can be used without base plates, which is pretty neat. Go in and out of the gun super easy. And overall, the gun is incredibly slick and easy to use with either hand. The Staccato P 2011 pistol is a actual 2011. It has a polymer grip, it has a steel frame, and it has a steel slide to it. The gun itself weighs around 34 ounces. It has a 4.4 inch barrel, but the threading brings it out to about five. It does come with threading one half by 28 right out of the factory, so you can throw your favorite suppressor on there. Come with suppressor height sights, and this one I got a RMR mount for and put a Trijicon RMR HD the brand new HD and we're gonna be testing this with a few other guns I want to do like a 10,000 round review before I tell you what I think now the suppressor height sights do work even with this high mounted optic you can see right through uh, obviously we shot this suppressor throughout the course of the review so you'll be seeing the reliability of that here in a second but the uh, increased slide cuts on the frame by comparison to the standard staccato I really like it actually has deeper cuts and it allows me to run it from the front of the gun a little bit better I run 2011s like that anyway because I don't like to bump the optic too much and obviously you have a limited room for the optic back here so it's even harder to grab the back of the slide so running up front is great now we have a uh, accessory rail at the bottom and we have around a four pound single action trigger with an incredible pull and an incredible reset which we'll get to here in a second as well and be safety on either side so if you're a lefty or righty you can still have fun and a swappable magazine release with a magwell that you can easily stick in your included three magazines, two 17 rounds and one 20 round mag. The big stick, because big girls like that. Now we have a combat cut on the hammer, which looks really cool, and the serrations on it are super usable. The grip safety is not pinned like on some very expensive guns like Atlas and stuff. And I do like that, but if I'm gonna have a grip safety, I like it just the way Staccato does it. They do it with a big memory pad. Some companies, they wanna make it flush, but a lot of times when you're in weird positions or you just grab the gun and you're pressing down on that safety, you can forget to depress that uh, grip safety, whereas with Staccatos, you won't have that because they have that big memory pad, and I like that. And we even do have a little bit of increased texture on the X-Series, which is pretty cool. The exceptional gun. Now, I know it's expensive, but hear me out here, I think it's worth it. So, first off, you know I'm a big fan of staccato with the c2 with the p with the cs and with the xc this gives you a little bit different option it gives you a tactical gun that's full size that's not a lot of weight that's very suppressible right out of the box and is super accurate and super fast When we mounted the suppressor to this, we didn't have problems where you have to change the recoil spring or you can't use uh, subsonic ammo. That worked with this gun the entire time. My wife also shot the gun unsuppressed a great deal because I mean, most people are gonna do that anyway, just to see if it worked well, and obviously it did. It is a staccato after all, and we've had very few failures with staccato over the history of us testing them, and this one is no different. Shot 115 grain blazer aluminum, blazer brass, and 124 grain federal, and all of it worked really well. And we did use the staccato magazines. We used my Atlas mags a couple times as well but for the most part we use the magazines that came with the gun you know it just kind of makes sense to use magazines to come with the gun and it ran super well now as far as accuracy goes you don't get much better than a 2011. The accuracy of the gun is directly related to how much accuracy you can usually get out of it. Most guns out of the box are more accurate than you, and a lot of it is up to how much you can get out of it. And with this gun, you have a very light trigger pull, as I'll show you here. Super quick reset. That 
allows you to cheat on that trigger a little bit and not have to have so much trigger discipline in order to hit accurately, which is why a lot of beginners and even moderate shooters can hit really, really well at the 2011, is because you don't have to master any sort of double action trigger pull like on a revolver or maybe an HK USP. You just press that little bitty three pound trigger and the bullet goes exactly where you want it. It's like fucking magic. It's gonna make anyone look like a badass. Now, the downside of the single action design is that it has to be cocked and locked in order to work. And if you are not familiar or don't use a manual safety much, it does take a little bit of practice in order to use it correctly. And it does take the correct uh, grip, as I should say. A lot of polymer frame shooters go over to 2011 and they don't like the 2011 because when they are using the gun, they usually put their thumb underneath the safety here and in the, pr in the course of fire, they push the safety up and the gun doesn't work. Well, that doesn't happen if you put your thumb over the safety, which is where it's actually designed to be in the first place. And then you can use that as a recall mechanism and then you don't have to bitch on YouTube about how the gun sucks because you don't know how to use it. Now, the issue in that comes with when you have too small of hands to actually do that. So you have to modify your grip a little bit and uh, you can still do it. Obviously, you can watch the footage of my wife shooting like crazy with this gun, but just know ahead of time that the grip is a little bit large and that's because when you bring your hand over to position yourself on the safety, instead of coming over here and taking more of the grip, you're actually coming off and you're putting your hand up here, which allows more space for your support hand. And for all you guys who don't know, your support hand is the gun that's actually supposed to be controlling the recoil because if you tense up your right hand so much, your trigger discipline goes out the window, your accuracy goes out the window. Now, if you tense up your left hand, all you get is slightly buffer. Nothing happens to your shooting other than you shoot faster and more accurately. So try using the left hand a little more and maybe putting the thumb up there will allow you to do that because it's a little more uncomfortable to squeeze with your right hand like that and it's easier to squeeze with your left. So it's good to have a right and a left. Now the magwell works awesome. The original staccatos came out with magwells that weren't blended and I felt like for the 20,000, 20, Jesus, that'd be a lot for a gun. Uh, felt like for the $2,000 price point, the $2,500 price point, they should have a blended magwell. Well, the X-Series has a blended magwell. So the magazine changes are pretty awesome. It has a slightly different feel to the grip. It has the same grip as the uh, Staccato XC, not the Staccato P, or at least mine does. And I only have this sample, so I'm just going off this one. The cut in the grip there feels really good. The undercut on the trigger guard feels really good as well. Now, the accuracy of the gun is excellent, probably due to the bull barrel, the cold hammer forged 4.4 inch bull barrel, the very awesome trigger, and the overall quality that Staccato puts in their guns. Again, for $20, $2,500 you would expect that, but a lot of times when you get an expensive gun, you actually don't get what you pay for. So it's nice to highlight the companies that actually do do that and offer something for people who really want that competitive edge. This is not your first duty gun. This is not your first like concealed carry gun. You're not gonna go out and buy a Staccato when you're 21 years old and go out and shoot it on the range right away because you're probably not gonna have the money. This is more of an expert's pistol, I would say. If you're looking for a slightly better cadence of fire, if you're looking for a slightly more accurate pistol because no gun can make you a better shooter necessarily. They can give you a couple of seconds off the clock because obviously shorter travel is shorter travel, but it's never gonna make you Jerry Mitchell. Like you have to go out there and practice with it. When seconds matter, this type of gun really appeals to me. If you're looking to get an absolutely fast and exceptional pistol, nobody does it better than the 2011 platform. And I think Staccato probably is the most proven company as far as duty use in the 2011. As I said in the first shots, I think it's approved for use in like 1400 law enforcement agencies. I know that the Texas Rangers use this and trust me, they do a lot of shooting. So, <laughs> so I think it's well proven in law enforcement. I've seen a ton of these, especially now where limited optics is legal. You can use the Staccato P in competition. And I've seen a lot of these as well because they come out at a decent price point. They're available in many stores and they don't malfunction. That was the issue with 2011s for many, many years is that they were fast and accurate, but they had a lot of problems, especially with regular nine millimeter ammo you get from big box stores, in which case Staccato has definitely fixed that. And I think they've honestly single-handedly changed the reputation of what you think of 2011s today. That's why they're so much more popular. And I think this is, if not the XC, if you're not looking for a comped one, I think this is probably the best Staccato you can get. Going up from here, maybe you can go with an Atlas Gunworks, you go with the Hayes Custom, you can go with the SVI, but those are not gonna cost you $2,500. If you think that's expensive, check out one of those. I mean, you're talking the seven to $10,000 range. For me, I own like four or five of these, and the reason why I do is because I absolutely love them, and I really believe in these, so I was not let down by the Staccato P Batman's gun. I'm just kidding, but it does look like Batman's gun, doesn't it? That's what I said in the short, people were mad because Batman doesn't carry a gun. Well, some versions of Batman actually do carry a gun. I'm not gonna get not gonna get into the fucking weeds, but the DLC black coating on this is excellent. It really makes the gun easier to clean and it really makes them slick for longer. And with a gun like a 2011 that's picky, 
like notoriously doesn't run very well when it's dirty by comparison to a Glock or something like that. If you add a great coating like this to keep it slicked up for longer, you can get a lot more reliability than you used to be able to. You didn't even clean it the entire time and it still ran great. Now, a couple of downsides before I close the review. A, it's gonna be very expensive. B, one of the issues of 2011s is you have to get quality magazines, but luckily Staccato is the go-to for quality magazines. But the other con to the gun is that it is optics ready, but it doesn't come with the optics plate. You have to get it and that does kind of suck but in all fairness that's basically every other company as well uh, but until you get the optics plate you can run it with the iron sights which are awesome they have a green fiber optic front and a blacked out rear and they do come with a red fiber and a couple of replacements as well which is pretty sweet because um, occasionally you do blow those out especially if you're using a suppressor and all you gotta do is cut them off and then uh, use a little lighter and uh, put them back in Overall, I think it's a great gun for the money. It's extremely expensive. Yes, if you're looking for those seconds, it's a great way to go. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your Oklahoma shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.